And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back, everyone. That severe thunderstorm warning continues for Willacy County until 6 o'clock this evening. Right now, elsewhere, it's looking quiet, but we are going to keep in a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms for the rest of the valley tonight. We zoom in here. You can see that thunderstorm crossing Texas 186. We'll zoom in farther, and you can uh, see all the lightning and heavy rain. The heavy strain is shown in the red. Damaging winds in excess of 60 miles an hour and quarter-sized hail are possible with this thunderstorm. This will affect places like Willamar as well as Raymondville, San Perlita, and Los Coyotes over the next uh, 15 minutes or so. We'll zoom back out here, pan over to the east. There's Port Mansfield seeing a lot of rain at this time. The heaviest rain right now to the west. Again, severe thunderstorm warning continues for Willacy County, shown in the yellow, until 6 o'clock this evening. So here is Willamar and here is Santa Monica. You folks can expect these uh, thunderstorms to head into these areas within the next few minutes or so. Again, looking quiet elsewhere, but for the rest of the valley, as I said, we'll keep in that 30 percent chance of thunderstorms tonight, and there is a possibility of a few more thunderstorms becoming strong or even severe for the evening hours. Temperatures right now because of the rain, it has cooled off in Raymondville to 89 degrees, but elsewhere 99 McAllen and 101 in Rio Grande City. Evening planner forecast will keep in the chance for some spotty showers and thunderstorms tonight, especially for the first half of the evening. 89 degrees at 7 p.m. 83 at 9 p.m. and 80 degrees at 11 o'clock tonight. So we have this upper level low pressure system which is spinning over North Texas and East Texas. It's going to move off to the east, but it's still going to be in the general region. So because of that, we'll keep in that chance for some scattered thunderstorms for tomorrow. At this point, we don't anticipate severe weather for tomorrow. Just for this evening, there's that marginal risk for all the valley, as you have seen with that severe thunderstorm warning in Willacy County. By Tuesday, behind that upper low, things start to quiet down, and then it should be dry for the second half of the week. There is one front coming in on Wednesday, but it's not a very strong front. We won't see much of a cool down behind it for Thursday and Friday, but at least the morning lows will be a little bit cooler by Thursday morning and Friday morning. So here's future track, and the model wants to give us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms for the northern ranch lands in Willacy County at 11 o'clock this evening. Not out of the possibility. Maybe a chance for some showers and thunderstorms in the lower valley at 2 o'clock in the morning. And it Calms things down tomorrow during the day, but I think there is still that chance we could see some more scattered showers and thunderstorms. So have the umbrellas handy for tonight as well as for tomorrow into Tuesday. Uh, the rain chance is 30% for tomorrow, 20% for Tuesday. Should be mainly dry for Wednesday. On the water, scattered showers and thunderstorms also a good possibility. We'll have winds out of the south tonight, shifting to the northeast at 7 to 11 knots for tomorrow. Bay waters are a light chop. Your next tide is a low tide at 7.06 this evening, and the seas are 2 to 5 feet. So for tonight, 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, a low temperature of 75 degrees. Then for tonight, uh, for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of thunderstorms and a high temperature of 95. I want to remind everybody we have the KRGV app, the weather app. It is free. It's available on iTunes and Google Play. Search for KRGV weather. Seven day forecast. High temperatures are still in the mid 90s. Our normal high temperature is 93 for this time of the year. We'll put in a 30% chance of thunderstorms tomorrow, 20% on Tuesday, mainly dry on Wednesday. Should be dry for Thursday and for Friday with high temperatures in the low to mid 90s. Look at that. Morning lows a little bit cooler for the second half of the week. We're back to 71 for Thursday and Friday, 72 on Saturday. So enjoy those cooler lows for the second half of the week. The highs are in the mid 90s, we anticipate for next weekend. That's your